Discover how the English Center in Youngstown is transforming lives by teaching English to immigrants and refugees seeking a brighter future in the Valley. The Daily Buzz is brought to you by 717 Credit Union. Hello everyone, welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. In Youngstown, a diverse group of individuals from around the world has found a common purpose, mastering the English language. In the cover story from the Business Journal's Growth Report 2024 Economic and Community Development Edition, we take you inside the English Center, which is helping immigrants and refugees build a brighter future through language skills. The very important view is that my country say Moises Lopez, a native of Honduras, relocated to Youngstown from Miami to be closer to his daughter. While Miami was full of Spanish speakers, in Youngstown he faced a language barrier. That's when he turned to the English Center. I live in Miami, Florida. In Miami, Florida, speaking Spanish, a lot of people speaking Spanish. Mm -hmm. For me, it's hard English. But it's good. It's good to get other language. All right, a little bit, tell a little bit about yourself, okay? Who wants to be there? Moises found support from his teacher, Vasiliki Constantine, who helps him navigate the complexities of the English language. I'm happy here with, with my teacher, Vasiliki. She helped me speak English. I want proper English for better communication other people. There are many different ways to teach English, but English here is a medium of instruction. We don't use other languages. When we have a beginning class like this, you might see the teacher animated, trying to explain things, a little dramatic, uh, and it makes it a fun class too. When something's more difficult, more serious, like how do we get a library card, I might use Google Translate and have that as a way to communicate to students you know, in detail what they need to do. The English Center offers classes to immigrants from various countries, including Mexico, Ecuador, the Dominican Republic, and Guatemala. It varies year to year, even semester to semester. This year I, I'll expect about uh, 10, 12, okay. up to 15 maybe. And the majority are Latinos. We, we do hear Spanish during class and I have to remind the students to try to concentrate on English. Today I might have one student from Saudi Arabia. Together, this is a start. This is a start. In one classroom on a Tuesday in early January, students from different corners of the world gather inside the Michael Kusalaba branch of the Public Library of Youngstown in the Mahoning Valley to learn English. But the English Center's impact goes far beyond this classroom. During the 2022-2023 academic year, the center served 175 students from countries spanning Ukraine, China, Japan, Brazil, and Chile, among others. The Youngstown Warren Regional Chamber and Eastgate Regional Council of Governments are on a mission to repopulate the Mahoning Valley. To achieve this, they're focusing on retaining young talent, bringing back those who left, and welcoming immigrants and refugees. If repopulation is a goal for economic development and all the other reasons, um, then this should be a part of it. Karen Conklin, the executive director of the English Center, emphasizes the importance of learning English to improve lives. I am so humbled by two parts of this. Those in our community that want to learn English, because that's how they're going to get better jobs or help their kids in school. And I'm so humbled by their bravery. How do we end the sentence? Today is... How do we end? What do we put on the end here? Period. The center offers five levels of English classes and adapts to students' needs by providing both in-person and online sessions. The teachers that teach, they're, not, they're doing it for the love of helping to improve lives. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. Online classes introduced during the pandemic have made learning more accessible to students facing transportation, child care, or work challenges. The center also recognized the need for specialized classes, such as a health focus class to help non-English speakers access essential services like health care. If you don't speak English, how do you find a doctor? How do you understand what the difference is between an, your doctor's office, an emergency room, urgent care? And so I reached out to Aaron Bishop, City of Youngstown Health Department, and said, would you help us with a health-focused class 
and we partnered with the main library. The English Center's history dates back to 1918 when it was part of the International Institute serving immigrants working in steel mills. Today it stands as a separate nonprofit entity dedicated to building a stronger community through language. Historic organization, legacy organization in this community that has just been doing quietly their good work for all of these years. Across the nation, cities like Erie, Pennsylvania and Dayton, Ohio have successfully implemented immigrant-friendly policies. These policies are aimed at welcoming immigrants and refugees and ensuring their integration into the community. In the Mahoning Valley, organizations like Thrive Mahoning Valley and the Ursuline Sisters Mission work to welcome and support immigrants. They offer English classes, help with enrollment in schools, and provide essential services to newcomers. So I really do believe that first steps are to see who's doing what, evaluate it, see where we can build capacity to address an identified community need. In this diverse tapestry of cultures and stories, the common thread is the desire for a better life. Through organizations like the English Center, Thrive Mahoning Valley, and other dedicated individuals, the Mahoning Valley is opening its doors to those who seek refuge and opportunity, ensuring that the region thrives with the strength of its new residents. You can read more in the cover story from the Business Journal's Growth Report 2024 Economic and Community Development Edition. Click the subscribe tab to get your copy today. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Seven Seventeen Credit Union, savings power to give your business an extra boost. Business savings, certificates, and business money market. Seven Seventeen Credit Union, make your money work as hard as you do. Check out our business money market and CD rates at 717cu.com slash rates.